Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about photo editing software, specifically Lumina 3. Now this is a piece of software that's available for both PC and Mac and it is a really nice editing suite that allows you to get the very best out of your pictures from either your drone, your stills camera or anything else there is out there. And in this video we're going to give you an overview of its basic features as well as give you my thoughts on it. So let's get on with it and take a look. Okay, so before we take a closer look at some of the basic features, I just want to explain why I actually like Lumina 3 over some of the others, because I have used all of the usual suspects, and one of the big ones for me is it does the options for the basic user as well as have the professional user options in it as well. Now, I'm just going to give you guys an idea of cost on this before I go any further, because one of the real nice things about it is you can actually buy this software. It is not subscription. It's available from Skylum.com. Uh, it is a purchase so it means you actually own it now a couple of the software out there at the moment have moved more towards the subscription model on a monthly basis and I am really not a big fan of that I like to own the software I'm using I like to pay for it I don't have to worry if it is the latest version but I like to own it and I like to be able to get used to it over a time and not pay out on a monthly basis now Lumina 3 is available in the US for $70 currently down at 60 and in the UK it's 65 pound down at 55 pound there is also a discount code to it in the description of this video as well it will give you an additional 10 off the price you see on the website now it's worth checking it out and if you do want to buy it please do check out the links in the description because at least that way then you do get some discount on it as well i'm going to give you a quick overview i am not the world's biggest expert on it but i'm going to give you a quick demonstration of some of the features i like about it now i've loaded some pictures into it already down on the left hand side to do this is really easy once you've installed it you just click file import images if you need to do it um and what we're going to do is select an image and we're going to select one to edit to get it the way we want it to look. Now, one of the nice things about Lumina is it has something called Lumina Looks built in. And this is a set of looks that they have done, or sort of presets really, and these are listed along the bottom. So if you select an image, so I'm going to select that one there, they already have a number of Lumina Looks. If you click the little box next to it, you can see all of the ones that come installed as standard. So you've got Essentials, Street, Landscape, Portrait, Lifestyle, Dyna Dramatic, Aerial, All Lumina Looks and a couple of the others. Now, if I click on Essentials, you can see them appear along the bottom and you've got things like classic black and white. And what that will do is it will set the image to what the classic black and white profile that they've preset. You've got uh, an all image enhancer, which sort of really kicks everything up a gear, really. Uh, haze removal, portrait enhancer, remove color cast. So there's a whole host of ready to go filters for you to be able to use. So instead of having to mess around with all the individual controls, you can find the one you like, click it, your photo is edited, save, job done. And it is a really, really nice feature. Now, whenever you click on anyone, you'll see there's a little slider comes up and you can adjust the amount of it that it applies to the image. So if you think it's applying too much, as you can see, I've got it on a zero there, and as we move up, you've got it towards 100%. And if I think it's too much, I can back it down to about the middle and go job done. And then I can just go file, export, and save the image. And it really, really is that easy. And the nice thing about the Lumina Lux is you're not messing around for hours trying to make an image look right. You've got a set of presets that are ready to go and just pick the one you want, select the amount you wanted to apply, save the image. So you can save yourself huge amounts of time instead of messing around with all of the controls. Another nice thing is they've actually got a specific aerial one as well. And it means that if you're doing your footage on your drones like I do, and I've got my Mavic 2, you can actually select the profiles which they think suit those images quite well. Now, I've been having a play and actually the landscape ones work really well on this image, I find, um, because it is a landscape image, not so much aerial. It's an aerial image, but it's really of landscape. It's the landscape ones which suit this one a lot better, in my opinion, than the aerial ones. And again, I can simply save it to there and it's ready to go. Now, 
If you're after a lot more controls, don't worry, Lumen has got that covered as well because it has all of the usual workspace options. So if you didn't want to use the Lumina Lux, you can move over to here and choose the workspaces. And if we can clear on that, it will clear everything and it will set everything back to the way it was. And I can then choose the workspace that best suits my needs. So if you're used to using something like Lightroom, if you select the professional one, you will have everything you are used to using. You've got your color temperature, your tint, your exposures, contrast, highlights, denoise, all of the usual settings that you would find. So if you are someone who is used to doing it individually and manually and getting that image absolutely perfect, it's all there for you. However, if you're not used to them, you've got some options like quick and awesome, which gives you some really nice options. So you've got like Sky Enhancer, so I can literally do that. And you can see it blues up the sky. And then you've got the All Filter there as well. Alternatively, you can go on to the Essentials one, and this will give you all of the basic ones for most types of image. One of my favorites is actual aerial photography because this gives us all of the options that I think most people will need for aerial photography images. Um, so as you can see, we've got the sky hyzer. So what we're going to do is we've got a polarizing filter and as we've got a bit of water in it, we're going to knock the polarizing filter up a bit. As you can see, it's taking that glare off the water and out the sky as well. So we're going to knock that up. We're going to put a touch of dehaze in, not too much, um, but we're going to put, say, 20 on the dehaze. I want to shift the color temperature a tad back towards 5.8. That'll be close enough. If you actually click on the box as well, you can put the number in that you want to use exactly. So I'll put 5.800 in there. I'm going to knock the saturation up to 8. I'm going to adjust it as well with a slider a touch. I'm going to give the clarity a slight knock up as well. And that is pretty much it. I'm not going to add any sharpening because you can see it still looks quite sharp as it is. So if you do want to use the manual options, you've got them as well. You've got uh, black and white, which gives you all of the individual options, red, yellow, green, blue and magenta, uh, as well as all of the other ones down below. You've got a landscape one which again gives you the best options for landscape photography, portrait and street. So again, you've got some really nice options on the other side as well if you don't want to use the Lumina Lux option. You can do some adjustments manually. Moving around the rest of the software, if you click that, you've got an info option which gives us uh, some of the info on how the image was taken. So it was taken on the ha Hasselblad uh, L1D, which is the fan uh, Mavic 2 Pro camera. You can see it was ISO 100, f2.3, 1.3 seconds. That was actually a long exposure that I did there, and it's actually very clear considering it's a long exposure as well. Um, Along the top, then, you've got some options like tools. So you've got your crop, your free transform, clone stamp, and arrays. So you can do some minor photo editing like you can in Photoshop 2. You've got your before and after option as well. And I do like this one because when you're using it, you can use it to go, oh, will that image look? And it actually just shows you the settings you're changing on just half the image. Uh, we'll turn that one back off. You've then got your uh, red eye removal if you've got a normal type of picture you've got your zoom options so you can go in if you want to look in a lot closer or zoom out you've then got the option to hide or show the lumina Lux bar across the bottom so if you don't want that you can get rid of it you can then show the film strip side panel and photo actions turn on and off each of these so if i turn off photo actions you can see that disappears bring that back and you can see that appears along the bottom there as well You've then got the option here of changing the folder we're looking at. And then you've got the option of going to a grid view or the main view like that. And finally, you've got your option for import images, add the just like you get under your usual file options. Um, that's pretty much it that I'm going to show you in this software. As I said, I'm not going to go into a heavily, heavily detailed overview of it. I wanted to give you a 
basic look of Lumina 3 and just give you my thoughts why I really do like this software. I'm pretty much using it now entirely in replacement of programs like Lightroom purely because it is not a monthly subscription. You're not paying for it all the time and you don't have to worry about it. As I said, it is available from download from the guys over at Skylum.com. There is a link to it in the description of this video that will get you some discount on it as well. There's also some links to the DJI Mavic 2 series and things like that as well if you'd like to support the channel and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching please do subscribe and i will do another video again soon and that is it for this video if you've liked what you've seen please do check out some of the other videos we have on the channel we do have over 150 of them also please don't forget to subscribe by clicking that button in the bottom right hand corner of the video you'll get updates and please do check out the links in the description if you're going to buy any products that's it thank you for watching and i'll do another video again soon